In this video, we will cover internal architecture of our AT86 microprocessor system. So the architecture of our AT86 system is divided it into two parts. First one is bus interface unit and the second part is execution unit. Bus interface unit is recognized as BIU and the execution unit is recognized as EU. So the two different parts are included in our architecture of AT86 microprocessor system. So this is our memory interface and memory interface is attached to the, our different parts of our BIU. In case of BIU, there are some segment registers are available. Instruction pointer is there and this is our instruction queue will be available as we already cover in our features of 8086 system that is 8086 having 6 byte of instruction queue and this 6 byte of instruction queue is available in the part of BIU. In the second part that is our execution unit consists of our general purpose registers that is AX, VX, CX, DX then stack pointer, base pointer, source index and a destination index as well as it consists of arithmetical logical unit, flag registers and operands are available. And this is our control system. So this control system is used for controlling the overall operations of our microprocessor system. In this microprocessor, there are two parts, BIU and EU. And this is very useful for fetching, decoding and executing of our instructions. Now we will learn the internal architecture of our AT86 system in detail. So the two parts are there, execution unit and the bus interface unit. We will learn the first one is execution unit. Whenever we have to execute any instruction, then there are total three phases. The first phase is fetch, second one is decode and the third one is execute. Execution unit will inform our bus interface unit where to fetch the instruction or our data. And the fetch instruction will be decoded. It will be executed by our execution unit. It consists of different parts like control circuitry, decoder, ALU, flag registers and the general purpose registers. So control circuitry is used for performing the various op internal operations. Decoder is also used for decoding the instruction that is fetched by our CPU. Arithmetical logical unit, the size of the arithmetical logical unit is 16 bit because our 8086 microprocessor is 16 bit. So our 8 ALU can perform arithmetical as well as the logical operation on 8 bit of data as well as 16 bit of data. The fourth part is flag register. Our 8086 is having 16 bit of flag register. In case of 8085, only 5 flags are active. But in case of 8086, total 9 flags are active. So we will learn this all 9 flags in detail manner with the help of example in the next video of our course. In case of 8086 system, we have a general purpose registers that is used for storing the instruction address as well as our result of our operations. And these general purpose registers are AX, BX, CX and DX. The second part of our 886 processor is bus interface unit. So the function of our BIU is to send the address to fetch the instruction or data from the memory as well as it is used for read and write the data from memory as well as our port. There are various sections are included, our bus included in our bus interface unit are instruction queue and segment register. So the instruction queue is used for fetching the instruction and that fetch instruction will be stored in that instruction queue. And the size of the instruction queue is 6 byte. And we are using the FIFO architecture that is first in first out architecture. 
all the byte will be fetched one by one and that is stored in that execution unit of our instruction queue. With the help of instruction queue, it improves the speed of our execution. Once our execution unit will be busy for decoding and executing of our instruction, our BIU fetches the instruction and that will be stored it into six bytes of our instruction bytes. And that bytes will be considered for the next instruction for decoding as well as our execution. Whenever we are fetching that particular bytes, these bytes are called as a prefetch bytes. And that are stored in that fee 4 register set. That is called as a queue. So our instruction queue consists of six bytes and that is used for fetching the data and storing our data into our queue. The second part is segment register. There are total four segment registers are there. We have already covered the concept of our segmentation and we are dividing our 2 raised to 20 that is 1 megabyte of memory into different parts and that parts are code segment data segment, stack segment and the extra segment. And these segments are used for storing our data. The default segment base and offset address register we are storing it as code segment colon instruction pointer. So it indicates that your value of our code segment will be updated with the help of this instruction pointer. The stack segment colon stack pointer indicates that our stack pointer location will be allocated to our stack segment. So in this video, we have learned what are the different parts are there in that 8086 microprocessor system that is BIU and EU. In that part also, we have a segment registers as well as our general purpose register, flag registers are also there. We will learn this all this concept in the next three videos in detail manner.